Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cómo están? Good. Good, Good teacher. Please. Okay. Ready for the class. Ready for the class. Okay. Cool. Okay. So today's topic is going to be related to um w h words recuerden si eh, tienen activado el micrófono desactivenlo y solamente activenlo cuando vayan a participar okay um we're going to move to uh, today's topic which is going to be related to w h words um Previously, we were studying the use of um, going to with yes, no questions. So uh, what is the difference between yes, no questions and WH questions? Do you have any idea? In the W, comienzan como con un auxiliar, como, como where or what. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Those are uh, the WH words that uh, the information questions start with. We're going to see them today, but I would like to share the uh, screenshots to the WhatsApp group. You will be able to see them right there. In the meantime, I would like you to ask just, just no questions. For example, if I ask you, are you going to the church? Sorry, are you going to go? Are you going to go to go to the church? To the church on Saturday? If I ask you that question, okay, um, the answer is going to be just yes, I am, or no, I'm not. That's simple, okay? Are you going to go to the church on Saturday? And your answer will be yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Is that clear? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay. Now, All let's right. see. Uh, Nelson, select oh. one of your classmates and ask okay. a question, please. Just, just no questions. Nelson, hello. Hello, oh, teacher. Sorry, es que tengo problemas con, con la conexión ahorita. Please. I want you to ask a just no question to one of your classmates. Okay. Mm. Eh, vamos a ver. Alexandra Hissel. Yes. Tell me. Yes. Are you going to go? No, are you are you going to visit tomorrow in in the weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to okay. visit. Okay. Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see. Edwin, select one of your classmates and ask a question, please. Gabriel. Hi. Okay. Uh, Gabriel, are you going to go to the beach on the vacation? Repeat, please. On vacation? Repeat, please. Are you going to go to the beach on vacation? Mm. 
on vacations. Yes, I am. Okay, Gabriel, select one of your classmates. Okay, Alexandra Giselle. Are yes. you going to rest tomorrow? No, I'm not. Okay, Alexandra, select one of your classmates. Oh, uh, let me see. Mm, Miriam Darlene. Are you going to Are you going to rest these weekends? Uh, not. I am not. Okay. Thank you. But Osley, select one of your classmates. Um, yes. Uh, hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Um, when you are going to have a cake? When you are or where oh, yeah, no, or when are you? Ah, when you are when are going you going to the case? When are you se escucha como cortado, no logré escucharte, veros. Okay. Uh, let's see, Jose Alejandro, select one of your classmates, please. Okay, um, Amalia Beatriz. When you go to the hospital? Okay, uh, pueden ver el chat de Zoom. When no, I'm not chat. Are you going to the supermarket on Saturday? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Uh, la pregunta. Pueden todos ver el chat de Zoom? Yes. 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 Okay. Allí yes. les puse yes. un ejemplo. Allí les puse un ejemplo. No van a utilizar when, where, why, who, what. Solo van a utilizar are you, is he. Is she okay? okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. Because this is just yes, no questions. It's okay. Amalia, select one of your classmates. Uh, Eriberto. Eriberto, okay. uh, are you going to hit the, the restaurant tomorrow? Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Thank you guys for your participation. Once you can see my computer screen, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, how about now? Yes. Yes. yes, I can see. Okay, thank you. Just let me go ahead and open up everything here. Okay, uh, can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Uh, les mandé las imágenes al WhatsApp. Espero que las hayan visto. Here you have the future with going to, yes, no questions. For example, read the first example, please, Nelson. 
Okay. Are you going to have letter? Yes, I am. No, I'm, no, I'm not. Are you going to help later? Okay. Thank you. Continue, please. Uh, Jenny. Second example. Okay. Are you going to help later? Yes, she is. No, she is not. Second example, please. Is she going to help later? No, la misma estoy diciendo. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, she is. No, she is not. Liliana, continue. The last example. Are they going to help later? Yes. They are. No, they aren't. Thank you. That's with just no questions. And you also have WH words in a spoken English. When do we use when, Nelson? Quien, uh, creo. No, Nelson, when do we Cuando. use when? Yes. Or why do we use when? Cuando. Es cuando. Es como referencia al tiempo. Exactly. Ask Look. Ask about time. Thank you. But lastly, when, uh, why do we use why? <laughs> why? Ask mm -hmm. about reason. About to ask about reason, okay? Reason. Okay. Um, if you see here, it says, learn how to use WH words in a spoken English. Can you see this part? Okay. Liliana, how do we use wish? Ask about choice. Okay to ask about choice, okay? <clears throat> Sorry. When are, are we going to use a uh, whom, Edwin? Ask about people. To ask about people. And if you didn't know it, we use whom um, for, his, for formal spoken language, okay? That is more formal. Amalia, oh. when are we going to use what? What ask for information? We're going to ask about personal information. Okay, like what's your name? What's your address? Um, what would you like to do in the future? Okay, what do you do? What's your phone number? Okay, Yesenia. When do we use where? Or why do we use where? Where to ask about place. Okay, we're going to use where to ask about places. Jose Alejandro, when do we use whose? Ask about possession to ask about possessions, mm -hmm. okay? Alexandra, when do we use who? To ask about people. If you see whom and who, you use to ask about people. However, whom is more formal. Who is informal? Gabriel. Peter, what, what is their different? And solo, just different is formal and informal form. Exactly. Who okay. is formal? Who is informal? Okay. That's the difference. Gabriel, when do we use how? Ask about process. To ask about processes. Okay. 
Those are the WH words that we are going to use in English, okay? And when do we, uh, I mean, why do we ask those questions or, or why do we use those WH words? We use WH words to ask about additional information. With yes, no questions, your answer is going to be just, yes, I am, no, I'm not. But with a WH words, you are going to provide additional information. Is that clear? Está claro? Yes, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. I have a question. Yes. Este, eh, respecto al whom y al who. Mm -hmm. eh, bueno, tengo claro de que dice de que el whom es eh, más formal que el who. Mm -hmm. Pero sí. no sé, teacher, si estaría de más pedirle, digamos, un ejemplo para aterrizar un poquito porque ando un poquito como en el aire, no, no mucho, comprendo la diferencia. Ok, por ejemplo, usted dice, who are you going to meet this coming Saturday? Who are you going to meet this coming Saturday? Ok, if you see, I'm, I'm saying, ¿a quién vas a conocer este sábado? Ok, and this one, I can say, to whom are you going to give the flowers? To whom are you going to give the flowers? Every time you use who, we're going to use to at the beginning. To whom are you going to give the flowers? A quien le darás esas flores? Is that clear? Está claro? Yes, yeah, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Solo que con el uh, con el who Or ustedes el no home usan. Es como para terceras personas. Entonces, no. el primero es como para tercera persona y el último es como directo. No. Algo así lo entiendo. Ahí dice que es para personas. Puede ser eh, una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, hasta cien. Las que ustedes quieran. Ok. Es en general. To ask about people. La diferencia es que uno es formal y el otro es informal. 99% ustedes usan who. Y es lo que se usa. 99%. Pero van a ver algunas oraciones que van a tener whom. Entonces, ¿por qué, les, por qué es necesario saberlo? Porque si no, usted se va a confundir y le va a, pare, pare, le va a pasar lo de Heriberto y va a decir, hey, pero esto no me lo enseñaron. O va a decir, no entiendo esta oración. Pero de hoy en adelante, como ya les expliqué, que es para preguntar sobre personas, uno es formal y el otro informal, usted sí le va a entender. ¿Estamos? Yes, teacher, perdón, pero digamos, en una conversación... Eh, en otro país con eh, habla inglés este, uh -huh. etcétera de lo que sea sí. no hay problema que nos apoyemos solamente utilizando el who no. es decir el who eh, bueno así como dice nos lo está aclarando para que en un futuro si nos topamos con ese término eh, en el camino ya tenemos conocimiento de que habla respecto a Exacto. pero podemos hacer uso de who toda la claro vida. no hay problema Ningún problema. Okay. Uh -huh. Es como yo normalmente eh, digo query. ¿Saben qué es un query? No. Vaya, es entonces eh, ese, ese tipo de vocabulario es para que usted en una conversación no se pierda. Un query es una, una question, una pregunta. Yo normalmente digo, I'm going to ask you a query. Es lo mismo que diga, I'm going to ask you a question. ¿Sí? Lenguaje formal e informal. Pero eso lo van a ir okay. aprendiendo poco a poco. ¿Está claro? ¿Is that clear? Yes, sí. Ok, great. Next. Here you have 
Here you have a WH quartz. Here you have WH quartz. Just let me. But Osley, would you like to say something? Yes, it's pocket. What does this pocket mean? Huh? What does this pocket mean? Uh, Se te escucha una gran interrupción. Logro entender que, que querés saber qué significa spoken. Sí. Ah, ok. Yes. Ese es el pasado participio del verbo speak. Speak, spoke, spoken. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Ok. Um, here you have the WH words. If you see with this ones, you are not going to say just yes or no, you are going to say, you're going to give more information. For example, if I ask you, Edwin, <clears throat> who are you going to tell the secret? What will be your answer? Edwin, who are you going to tell the secret? Uh, the secret, no sé qué es, teacher. Me habla de secreto. No. Yes, correct. Uh, okay, le puedo... No, me quedé en blanco, teacher. I don't know. Nelson, who are you going to tell your secret? Correct. Uh, mm, my secret is. Can I'm I... going to tell my secret. Igual me quedé. Es que... Vaya. Este, eh, tómenlo como un consejo. No va a ser regaño lo que les okay. voy a decir. ¿Sí? Tómenlo como un consejo. Pongan en práctica, por favor, los temas que se van viendo a diario. ¿Sí? Para que podamos avanzar. Porque de lo contrario, podemos pasar un mes con el mismo tema. Entonces, tratemos de ponerlo en práctica y este, les mandé uno, unos videos en el WhatsApp. Entonces, porque necesitamos avanzar. Yo en esta semana tuve que haber terminado dos unidades, ¿sí? Pero solo nos hemos estancado con una porque al parecer tienen un poquito de lagunas. Es decir, eh, necesitan reforzar el conocimiento con, de los niveles anteriores. Um, Tómenlo como un consejo, practiquemos un poquito más. Yo sé que todos trabajan, yo trabajo también, pero cuando yo era un estudiante, yo practicaba un poquito más para estar como más concentrado en la clase y para entender un poco más los temas. ¿Estamos claros? Ok, muy bien. Um, if I ask you, who are you going to tell the secret? En esta parte, usted no va a decir, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Usted va a dar información adicional. I'm going to tell my secret to my mother. I'm going to tell my secret to my brother. I'm going to tell my secret to my best friend. Okay? So, let me ask you another question. What are you going to cook tonight, Berosli? What will be your answer? What are you going to cook tonight? Um, I'm going to I'm going to cook at night um, and salad. Salad. Okay, I'm going to cook. And in that case, la la ensalada no se cocina, sino que se prepara. I'm going to prepare salad. Or you can say, I'm going to cook red beans and eggs. Thank you. Okay, great. When are you going to uh, speak with your best friend? Edwin, when are you going to speak with your best friend? I'm going to speak with my best friend tomorrow. 
Excellent. And applause for Edwin. Great. Thank you, Edwin. Y si Thank se you. fijan, si se fijan, no es más que combinar oraciones. Nada más. Si, si no lleva who, what, when, where, why, how, who, which, entonces usted no tiene que dar información adicional. Si no lleva eso, si dice, are you going to speak with your friend? La respuesta va a ser, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Pero si ya le agrega WH words, es para dar información adicional. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, it's clear. Okay. Um, let's see. Alexandra, question for you. Ready? Yes. Let's see. What are you going to read the next week? What are you going to read the next week? The next week I'm going to read um my favorite newspaper. Okay, great. An applause for Alexandra. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's see. Why are we why are we going to speak just in English? Elisa, why are we going to speak just in English? Hola. Uh, I am going to speak Sponge. Hola. Okay, the question, why are we going to speak just in English? What would be your answer? Claudia, what are we going to speak just in English? Alexandra, why are we going to speak just in English? Uh, we are going to speak in English to get a better job. Excellent, Alexandra, great, great job. Now, let's listen to Milena. How are you going to eat? How are you going to eat tonight? Are you going to eat with a fork or with your fingers? Liliana, how are you going to eat tonight? How are you going to eat tonight? Oh. Uh -huh. I'm going to eat tonight. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Yesenia, how are you going to eat tonight? Okay, Gabriel, how are you going to eat tonight? I'm going to eat with my fingers. <laughs> okay, great. Sometimes it's more delicious, right? Eating with your fingers, like eating with a fork. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, mostly if you are eating pupusas. Okay. Uh, Claudia, where... Where are you going to sleep tonight? Where are you going to sleep tonight? Claudia? Claudia Carolina? Where are you 
going to sleep tonight. Griselda, where are you going to sleep tonight? I am going to sleep at 10 p.m. No, where? ¿Cuándo dijimos que vamos a utilizar where? Lugar. For places. Exactly. Uh, For places. places. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep on the sofa? Are you going to sleep on the bed? Are you going to sleep on the floor? Where are you going to sleep tonight? On the bedroom. Okay. I'm going to sleep on the bed. Okay. Bye. Ya les di muchos ejemplos. Ahora quiero que ustedes produzcan. Porque si no, no tiene gracia que solo yo esté hablando. Okay, Nelson, select one of your classmates, please. And you can invent okay. your you can invent your own questions. Those are just examples. Those. No. Esos solo son ejemplos okay. lo que le he dado, pero usted puede crear los suyos, sus propias preguntas. Okay. Una tengo eh, una pregunta. Una pregunta en general. ¿Los niveles anteriores les hablaban solo en español o en inglés? De la en inglés. En inglés. En inglés. Okay. El, pas el pasado, el pasado fue sí solo fue en español con la maestra que estuvimos. O no sé si iba, por lo menos lo que nos iba a creer. Ajá. Con la, con la maestra que tuvimos. Bueno, en el Verosli era mi compañera y creo que tuvimos var var varios problemas con ella porque nos atrasamos mucho. Vaya, uh, la idea no es poner en mal a nadie, sino que sí. la pregunta, me pregunto por qué a veces les estoy preguntando, sí, y les hago esta pregunta porque a veces pregunto, estoy diciendo algo en inglés y pareciera que como que no captan la idea. O se quedan como que cri, 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 cri ¿verdad? Entonces, este, por eso les pregunto, porque normalmente no acostumbro a hablar en español en las clases. Empiezo en inglés y termino en inglés. ¿Sí? Porque si no, nunca se van a acostumbrar. Tienen que enf enfocarse en el contexto, porque las clases son en inglés. Yo sé que están empezando, pero hay que irnos acostumbrando. Y si anteriormente nos hablaban solo en español, pues olvidémonos ya del español, ¿verdad? Y tratemos la manera de eh, concentrarnos más en el inglés. Porque de nivel 3 van a pasar a otros niveles. Y va, va a ir uh, siendo un poco más eh, retador el nivel en que vayan. ¿Ok? Um, let's see. Eh, Nelson, select one of your classmates, please. Ask a question. Nelson? Hello. Es que okay. tiene problemas con el internet, mister. Okay, Alexandra, select one of your classmates, ask a question, WH question. Okay, I select Jose Alejandro. Okay, Jose Alejandro, ready? Ready. Right. What are you going to do after class? Thank you. Well, I'm going to do um, sleep. I'm well, going after to I need to sleep. read uh, uh, many, many places with my work. My job. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Brenda, select one of your classmates. Ask a WH word using going to. Amalia. Okay. Um, when are you going to walk, walk to the park? I go to the park at the weekend. Okay, one more time. Ask the question, please. Hello. 
Ay, hay yes. questions. Heriberto Durán. Hello. Heriberto Durán. Hi. Uh, where are you going to go? Mm -hmm. When? Hi. Where are you going to go when? Where? On where? Saturday, on Sunday, the next week, the next month. Uh, the next Friday. The next Friday, yes. Okay. Okay. I am going, I am going to uh, work in my office. Oh. No. Where are you going to go? Ah, uh, okay. Um, I am going. It's, I am it's going vacation. To... It's yes. vacation. <laughs> I am going to go to the beach in tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Okay, Heriberto, okay, pay attention, please. <laughs> okay, Heriberto, select one of your classmates, please. Um, Elisa. Sí, yes. Elisa Maria, okay. Uh, when are you going to to where are you going to visit uh, uh, your family? Uh, when am... or where? When are you going? Okay. Mm -hmm. When are you going? Cuando. Yes. Um, yes. English. I, I am going uh, tomorrow. I'm going to visit Let my visit. family tomorrow. Uh, I am going to visit tomorrow. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Jenny. Select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Permit. Uh, uh, Jose Heriberto. Okay. Where are you going to tomorrow morning? Where are you going to go tomorrow morning? Um, I am going... I am going to to go in, in my work in, in, in the morning. I'm going to go to my job in the morning. Or I'm going to okay. go to work in the morning. In the morning. Okay, Gabriel, what time are you going to sleep tonight? I'm going to sleep tonight at... Uh, 11 at 11 p.m. p.m. yes okay thank you now let's continue with the platform because we need to complete some exercises now once you can see my computer screen can you see the platform or not yet yes no maybe No. Okay. Okay. Can you see it now? No. Yes. 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 Great. Awesome. It says, uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer WH questions using going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used um, in a real life setting. Let's listen to this conversation.
In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer. WH. Can you listen to? Pueden escuchar? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes teacher. teacher. You're going to. Bravo, teacher. You'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation <laughs> titled Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get and finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end there now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country after you complete this activity share your work in our discussion forums Okay, let's continue. It says, knowledge check, instructions, complete the conversation with the correct form of the, of the be going to follow the example. Um, are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Um, so complete the number one, please. Uh, Nelson. Where are you going to invite the Thanksgiving dinner? Why or who? Who? Who are you? Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Who are you going to invite, invite. Mm -hmm. to Thanksgiving dinner? Okay, continue, Jose Riverto. Okay. I am going to ask my family and some good. Yes. Friends. And some good friends. Continue, Alexandra. What are you going to do for Halloween? Okay. Thank you. Uh, Claudia, next. 
I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I am go. Don't. I go to. Do nothing special. I'm not going to do anything special. Next, Liliana. Jenny. Miriam. How are your parents going to celebrate New Year's? Thank you, Milena. Thank you, Gabriel. Gabriel. Going to. What is your sister to going do. to do for her birthday? What is your sister? Thank you. Heriberto, the last one. Boyfriends. Heriberto, si no están usando el, el micrófono y participando, por favor, pónganlo en silencio. Ok. Ok. Her boyfriend's going to take her out to dinner. Thank you. Vaya, veamos cómo salen. Great. Great job. Next, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Graduation, Wedding, Anniversary. Send cards, give presents, take pictures, Sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, let's continue. It says, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. We almost finished. Just give me some minutes.
Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday they're going to pull on my ear 21 times once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Joly, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay, the instruction says, read the article, then answer whether the sentence presented in each article is true or false. I think it's loading. Okay, Alexandra, help me to read the, the article and then give me the answer if it is true or false. Okay, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 20 times. It's true. Gabriel, read it. Jan Ching is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. Uh, is false. Okay, do you read it? Quiero que lean el article. Okay. Yang Xin Shi Taipei. Tomorrow, Tomorrow is my 16th is my birthday. Uh, so we're going to have a family cere ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. So, Chi is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. It's false. That's true. That is true. Her mother, her mother is going to cook. No, it's false. False. <laughs> Let's see. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family well, ceremony. I'm probably well. going to get some money in lucky embellished from my relatives. My mother. Ah, uh, yeah. My mother. I'm sorry. Okay. My mother. That is false. Thank you. 
Now, next, uh, Nelson, read it. Nelson? Sorry. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. It's true. Do you read the article? Sorry. Tienen que leer el artículo y luego responder. Ah, okay. My husband is going to be 16 tomorrow in Japan. The 16th birthday is called. Can carry it's the the beginning of a neat light. So color red represent a neat light. So children orange get sometimes read as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and best. It's true. Nice. Okay, the last one. I need another volunteer. I am teacher. Thank you. Feel it. Jolly Paris. I am going to be sorry next week. So I am going to invite three very good friends out to dinner in friends. When you had a birthday, you often invite people out in some country uh teacher oh no polera I know. The opposite people. I know it's the opposite. Uh -huh. The opposite people take you out. Is that true or false? Uh, our feeling friends are going to take him up there on his birthday. That is false. Um, false. It's false. Okay. Great. Vaya. De la misma forma que yo he completado los ejercicios, ustedes también los van a completar en la plataforma. Eh, este tema ha sido un poquito largo, yo sé porque han habido bastantes videos en la plataforma, pero esta semana que viene vamos a tratar de avanzar lo más que podamos. No sé si, bueno, les voy a dar un minuto para que, te, para que hagan una pregunta que tengan, o dos preguntas máximo. Eh, lo de la, que mañana no hay clases y se reanudan el 8, quiere decir que el sábado vamos a tener clases. O, o solo es para, como para información de no sé qué, creo que decía, no, no es, son clases. Las clases de ustedes tengo entendido que son de lunes a jueves, entonces mañana Así no les no afecta. afecta. No afecta, ok. No les afecta, entonces nos veríamos hasta el lunes. Uh -huh. El lunes a jueves, la otra semana. Nuestra plata. Uh -huh. Nuestro trabajo de la plataforma sí tiene que estar culminado sí o sí ahora, ¿verdad? Sí. Tiene que avanzar. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Ok. Vale, nos quedamos hasta acá. Si no hacen nada, buen provecho. Tengan feliz okay. fin de... Si van a salir, recuerden que las calles están cerradas mañana. Mejor váyanse al lado de Oriente en vez de Occidente. And see you on Monday. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.